EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the Chicago Bears. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success? The best? kicker Brandon McManus about ready to get us started and off we go from Soldier Field and we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff this will be a touchback so here are the Bears now for their opening drive and leading them out there we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback for every rookie prospect there are always nerves involved in this moment running your team out to start a game but there's a reason they brought him in we're willing to make him their starter today they believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. The drive will start with an option going left. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Here's Bajan. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, here's Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Oftentimes, when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Throwing now, Bajan. He's got Allen. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. On first and 10, it's Swift. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. They work now on second and nine. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. 
throwing here. Bajan. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. I give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. On second down, Swift. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Now Beige to throw. And that will be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Santos' kick is up and through, and it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. Santos back out there to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. So here are the commanders making their way out as we take a peek at their versatile quarterback, the Hawaii native and former Oregon Duck, Marcus Mariota. Coming out of Oregon as the Heisman Trophy winner, we thought that this guy was headed towards superstardom, and while he didn't quite reach those heights, he did have some flashes along the way. And right now, his athleticism continues to keep him in the league. Still has a good arm, mobile, a great guy to have in the locker room. He can win if given an opportunity. They started on the ground. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Well, he's going to have to shake out the cobwebs first time he touches the football and he drops it on the ground. So many times we talk about quarterbacks and taking care of them early to get them in the flow with safe throws, right? But with a runner, there is no such thing as a safe run, right? <laughs> right out of the gate, you're going to be in, you're going to be in some traffic. Got to take care of the ball, and he didn't do that. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, so that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Up the middle with Eckler. And he powers his way up past the 30. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game.
The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Play action now. Mariota. And he won't get close. Only a yard. Fourth and three. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. And the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll start out here with the option left. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Here's a toss play right to Swift. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Now third down and seven. Bajan. Him and it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On fourth down, Chicago brings out Trenton Gill. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. Fights off the defender. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two, and a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out with a little extra emotion, so now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Tyreek Stevenson in on the stop. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Eckler going to get it again on second down. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Tried to get the edge there. The defense just too quick to the ball. That's what we call total team defense there. Can't get to the edge. No place to move it inside, and then allows everyone else to run to the ball and create a big-time tackle for no gain for the offense. On third down, Mariota on the screen. This is Eckler. And getting this chest shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Ten yards there, good for a Washington first down. Nothing after one on EA Sports. And Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Mariota to throw it. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. 
He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Mariota from the gun on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. On first and 10, it's Bajan. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, first the ball free, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Cole Komet, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. To throw is Bajan. And to the right side here, it's Allen. Fighting through, and he's got space. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Back to throw, Bajan. Shot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now a second and ten. Now he'll try to run with this. It's going to be a gain of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Well, they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. It's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. 
you're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide, usually going to pick up a holding call. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And they'll find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 19. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Here's second and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On third down, he'll drop to throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. A short gain there of just four. And that'll bring up a fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing. And they shut that one down with little gain. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. They'll look to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Here's Swift. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. As long as you've been the air attack, that's gotten them down here. But now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Second and goal from the one. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. On third and goal, they're going to run the option. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. Santos' kick is up and through. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? the made field goal Santos back out there to kick it away and he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25 out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here still in the first half but this offense has struggled haven't really been able to get anything going not only in the points category but in the yards category we'll see if they can do better here on this drive
Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Second and six, just inside the 30. Mariota. This a quick slant, and he's got Terry McLaurin. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up third and two. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Mariota on third and two. Steps away, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's Jones. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Bears now ready to take over again. Now, they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday they press it a little bit. This might be the case. On first down, Bajan. That is incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but... Let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Second and 10. Here's Bajan. He's going to have the hook up to Scott. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Throwing now, Bajan. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Washington going to go on offense now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, we'll see if they want to try to put a drive together, possibly even take the lead here with a touchdown. A first down throw for Mariota. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Second down, Mariota. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. 
feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. Are you serious, dog? So not just running into the punter, but roughing the punter. And I'm struggling with this one. You know, you're watching it, partner. Is it more the first rather than the latter? This is a tough one. Almost feels like he felt like he had to call it on that play. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and ten. From the gun, Mariota. And this one's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Mariota. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Well, a tough situation to overcome here. Third and 17. Not wanting to risk another sack. They'll play it safe with a run. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Oh, the return is Jones. Call it an even 40-yard punt. 7-0 on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Bears going to get one more possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Final 24 seconds of the first half as they come up here first and 10. Throwing here, Bajan. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. Six-nothing is our count at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point.
Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. First chance for the commander's offense now as they head out for their opening series of the second half. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Highly contested in the third quarter. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we got faith in our tackles. We give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. It's swift to start the drive. And really a nice job there to make something out of that run. Sidestepping defenders for a pickup of four. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Right back to Swift again on second down. They'll take this up just shy of the 40. Excellent display of footwork on that run. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Once again, it's Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? To say they've kept him under wraps running the football, that, that's an understatement. He's been completely neutralized. Yeah, they've essentially taken him out of the game, haven't they? And you know all the teams say, we're not going to let him beat us? Well, that's exactly what's happened here. They've lived up to that. They run out of the gun with Swift. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Third and five. Now Bajan to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. 
From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Bajan. And again, back to Komet. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Two yards to go, second down. Back to the running game with Swift. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. He loses four, and it brings up fourth. Boy, you know, some plays, you can just sort of tell they're not going to work from the start, and that was one of them right there. Yeah, I mean, he had every option taken away, and so all that was left for him to do was to try and keep it himself, but even he knew that he had nowhere to go. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And the Washington offense heading out. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Throw to the right here, taken in by McLaurin. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Mario was throw complete to Dotson. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. A couple of first downs right in succession. And this is an offense that could really use a good drive. And they're off to a fast start here. Nothing in that first half. Nothing on the last drive. But they're moving now with a first and 10. On the counter, this is Robinson. He'll get it up near midfield to the 49 before being taken down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From just shy of midfield, here's second and six. The first carry for Jeremy McNichols. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. It's the Commanders in possession of the football, but they trail as we start this fourth quarter. They'll try to throw now. Mariota dancing to his... And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. There goes a loss of three on the sack, and it brings up third down. And of course, that's 
that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. Now, I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive, so either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. And this connection there, he's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this swim lead. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. To throw is Bajan. He's going to get that to Swift underneath, and they'll get him down here at the 23. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. From the 23, here's second and nine. Here's a handoff to Swift running left. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation and taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Back to throw, Bajan. And this is caught. He hits more. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup on the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here. Down late, tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss there, now third and 14. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and ten. On first and ten, here's Mariota. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play at them while you've got them rocked on their heels. 
From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Mariota to throw it. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Rolling to his left. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. So there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Mariota. And he rifles one incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now Mariota. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Mariota on first down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counter. Touchdown! Terry McLaurin. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders are an extra point away from taking the lead here in the fourth. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. He's got it, and they take the lead at 7-6. to six. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. First and ten, it's Bajan. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force any. Oh, 
He'll try again with the arm here on second down. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. An important one here, no doubt. Third and four. They'll drop the throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Heady, heady, heady on that one, huh? Getting out of bounds before the two-minute warning to get an extra timeout, extra opportunity to move the ball downfield. Very smart football. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Here's Bajan. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Jonathan Allen in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. They'll come up now on second down. He'll look to throw. Gets this to Moore. Short game, short game, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense. They're saying go right ahead with those. This now a third and four. Back to throw. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it, because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. And he is going to have the Bears first down. It's a gain of seven on fourth and four. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hadn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. They'll look to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Too far for a field goal. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. So they converted their first two fourth down attempts. Not there. Now they're two for three. You think maybe the offense coordinator expended a little capital on that one? <laughs> you know, when you're two for yeah. two, you can lobby confidence. for that third one, right? Didn't get it there. Maybe now the head coach might not be so eager to go for it as we go forward. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game.
Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here and they're going to escape with a one point victory. in this one. Yep, and that cliche rings true. A single penny separates this one. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half with the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half? That's a surprise. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Soldier Field.